Hi guys, we are live, and of course that means I have to take these first awkward seconds and get everything tweeted and the chat up so that I can actually see what you guys are saying. Look at that. Now up, and now we tweet. Someday I'm going to have this down smoothly. Hi Melissa! Okay, what am I doing? I forgot what I'm doing. I'm totally losing my brain. I believe I was in the middle of tweeting this out. There we go. We have now tweeted. <sighs> okay, today's goal is to finish this page because it is time. It is time to say goodbye to this page. <laughs> I'm ready which means it's just these three colors that I have left. Actually, I don't even think I need the silver anymore. I just got the silver out in case I missed any spots in here that were supposed to be silver. Hi, Kimberly. Is there something you want, baby girl? No, we just wanna run around upstairs like elephants. It's fine. Okay, so yeah, I'll probably just be using these two colors. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this hidden little snake up here. But I might do something special with him. But other than that, it's just these two colors. Hi, Shay. So, like I said before, am I buffering? Just going to sit here and, and do a little dance as my internet catches up. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, and I believe I'm, I'm, I'm also going to need my Posca at some point. Hopefully I can find that. I don't remember where I put it. This is going to be fun. Oh, I'm just losing my brain, guys. I'm losing it. Today, I have got a feeling, is going to be one of those days where I don't know if I'm coming or if I'm going. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Yeah, I'm I'm really, really, really hoping to get it done today. It's one of those pages where it's just taken me so long that as soon as I finish it, I'll feel like I've accomplished something with my life. <laughs> oh, did you, Kimberly? Yeah, my office is actually... Ah, uh, come on, internet. Are we back? No, Melissa, it is my wonderful, adoring internet. Sometimes it just decides that it doesn't like me and that I'll be in the middle of doing something and it's like, nope. I feel sometimes like I'm being throttled because of my internet usage. So yes, I am looking into crossing my fingers a better internet provider so that doesn't happen. But anyways, I was saying, I love watching Office Sewers. Melissa's Office Sewer was amazing and it made me really, really excited about cleaning my office. So at some point, since my office is my library area, organize all of my books, clean off my coloring area. Actually, I need to move my, uh, my uh, coloring supplies over to a better area so I can actually reach them. Because I think I've shown you guys like my marker area, my marker pen area but I have like paints and all kinds of other good hodgepodge, modgepodge kind of stuff that is unfortunately on the other side of the room, which makes no sense when I'm sitting here at my desk and I need them. Yeah, Melissa, I agree. It's like once you get it accomplished and once it's all nice and clean, it's amazing. It's the best feeling in the world. We actually, yesterday we did a bit of uh, unboxing of 
Jeff's stuff that has been sitting around since he moved in. And even though we didn't get it all organized and unboxed, it felt good. Especially since we've been married for two and a half months now. Yeah, Shay, I saw your, um, your, your new setup. I really, really like it. I'm excited for that new bookshelf. Hi, girly. I'm so glad you could join. Have I said hi to you, Robin? Did I miss you coming in? I'm, like I said, I am totally losing my mind right now. Is Grace here? Did I miss Grace too? Hi, Grace. I was just chatting away and I totally miss people coming in. I apologize for that. Move this over a little bit. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to having time to just putz around down here. Yeah, there, there's something about organizing and cleaning that is oddly therapeutic, but only if you want to do it. If to do, nope, no thank you. I am unfortunately one of those people that as soon as you tell me to do something, I don't want to do it. And I will start fighting you tooth and nail. So it has to be my suggestion or you have to let me have time to process it. Otherwise, it's just not going to end well for anybody involved. Oh, see, see, and this is why I brought the silver down, because I just realized I didn't put any silver on this little guy. That's the, that's the thing about Kirby's stuff, is he's got so many, like, intricate little pieces that you can miss things very easily. What else was I going to talk about today? How have you guys all been doing? How is your guys' week going? putting together slideshow for the month of May. Subscriber picture show. Ooh, that's exciting, Grace. Oh, thank you. I kind of like the butterflies too. I started getting concerned that I added way too much gray and dark colors to this page, but at this point, I'm just kind of going with it. Oh, I'm glad you could join for a little while, Robin. Dun, dun, dun. Other than that, at some point in the next couple of days, I want to, of course, film my monthly wrap up of all the books I've read which is a lot more than I anticipated this month. And then I'm going to try for the first time to do a coloring wrap up. Not entirely sure how I'm gonna do it yet because I don't have like a huge amount of completed pages, but I'm gonna get it figured out. Yeah, I saw some of your watercolors, Grace. That is super exciting. Watercolors scare me. Paints in general scare me. Which is a little bit silly because markers are almost like paints. But I think it's like this weird mindset thing that I need to get over. Someday, maybe. Ooh, also, I, I finally finished all of the work that I wanted to do with the Parku markers. So I'm hoping to do a review this week. I'm hoping maybe to do it on Thursday so that... Come on, internet. 
Okay, so here's the rule. Every time my internet goes out, you guys buffer like crazy. I want you to take a shot of whatever you have next to you. Me, I've got tea, so cheers. <laughs> Like I said, it's going to be one of those days that I'm just going to have to roll with whatever happens. I was in the middle of talking about something and I don't even remember what. Parkour. Oh yeah. Um, finished what I wanted to do with the parkour markers. Going to have a review. Hopefully I'm going to film it on Thursday and then you guys can see it on Friday. Because I have, I have some words that I want to say about those markers, pens. Excuse me, I guess they call them pens. It's always weird, because I mean, these are pens, but to me, they're markers. But really, they're pens. See, it's like all these little tiny pieces that somehow I forgot. Yes, um, and I have been talking to some of you guys about my most recent find in the marker alcohol world. And I just, literally minutes before I started this stream, the doorbell rang and the mail guy dropped off these wonderful looking Cure Color, Fine and Brush for Manga. These are alcohol-based markers. And I got so excited when I learned about these because look at how fine that point is. I think I was talking about this a couple streams ago, how I wished I knew of a alcohol-based marker that had a fine tip on it. So this will be really, really good for doing detail work. And I might, I don't have very many. I have five with me right now, and I think I've got six, seven, eight more on the way. And so I don't have a huge color range, but I'm, I'm interested to see what I can do with fine tip on an alcohol-based marker like this that is built for blending because I know Sharpies come out with fine tips, but Sharpies are really weird when you're trying to blend them. I think it's just the ratio of ink and alcohol they have in the marker. They're, they just don't lend themselves to blending, but these were built for blending and I'm super, super excited to see what I can do with them. So these will be showing up in my streams relatively soon. I know that the rest of them are supposed to arrive on Friday. So I think on the next stream, I'm gonna use them because I can't help myself and I need to try. So those, those are gonna happen. The thing about these though is they're not necessarily in the US yet. I just happened to find a secondhand Amazon retailer who was selling them for relatively cheap and so I grabbed as many as I could. I found some sellers on Etsy and um, a pen shop website but they're a little more expensive through there and I think you could probably refill these with the regular Zig alcohol ink because Zig has a alcohol marker line that isn't, it's also the cure color, but they're not the fine and brush that they have refills for. So I'm gonna look more into that and let you guys know, but I'm excited, I'm excited. Now back to our regularly scheduled program before I got really super excited about markers. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. That has been my life recently. So Grace is having fun with watercolors. What is what is everybody else using right now or coloring in right now?
Oops, I forgot to finish this page, didn't I? Or this wing, didn't I? Combos, pencils, and pit pens. Ooh, the swords. I'm excited to see what you do with that page, Melissa. Polychromos in the nice little town. Yay for Polly's. Nope. Yeah. Is it, yeah, are you gonna come downstairs or are you gonna cry from the top of the stairs? Sounds like you've got a Wookiee in your mouth, girly. Yeah. Are you gonna tell us all about it? Yeah. Oh, we got the sock monkey and not the Wookiee. <clears throat> yeah. Are you going to share it or are you just going to look at us? <laughs> Nissa is very offended that we aren't there to love her right now. I named each of the swords. Sort of life, sort of unicorns. I love it. Yep, the cat. They are feeling very vocal today. And I think a little bit needy. I'm not sure why they're feeling needy, but they are. Well, and it's kind of funny because the last couple streams, they've been really chill, but today. Did you, Shay? Hmm. Be interested to know what markers they are. Okay, bye. She did not stay down here very long. And now she's just going to stand at the top of the stairs and cry again. This is what our life is usually like with Nissa. She knows exactly where we're at, but... It looks like I got a little loosey-goosey with the red there. Got a little bit of a hole I need to fill in. Okay. Fia's up in the high window. I'm like, I hear snoring, but I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Fill that in a little bit. But with me discovering the cure color, I have to decide <laughs> if I keep my storage space kind of limited like it is right now and adapt it so that I can fit the new markers in or if I start looking at additional storage solutions. I don't know. So many options 
I mean, it's kind of nice to have unlimited storage because then I don't go off and I buy, like, everything under the sun like I really, really want to do. Oh, I'm so sorry, Grace. You gotta love technology. Marvy La Plume 2, double end. I have never heard of those markers before. Where the heck did you find them? They definitely have an awesome name. Um, what editor are you using, Grace? Joanne Fabrics. I never think to go to Joann's. Granted, it's like halfway across the town from us, so that's part of the reason why I don't. There was one point in time where I was hitting up Joann's when I was I first got the the boys because I wanted to make my own fleece liners before I realize how horrible I am at using a sewing machine. I need a little bit more practice before that happens. But I haven't been back there since. And let me tell you, fleece can get, you know, relatively expensive when you're going crazy. Oh, yeah, so you can just, like, walk over there. That's nice. Mosaic Redux, because I have a Mac. Oh, I just use iMovie. That's what I edit all of my stuff in. I've used iMovie since, oh, my gosh, I've been using iMovie for over 20 years. <laughs> that that is That is a wonderful turn of phrase right there yeah I, I grew up with all of the computers because both of my parents are computer programmers slash were computer programmers so I started dabbling in video editing and photo editing relatively early so yeah I mean I have contemplated trying to learn Premiere Pro, but I just, I know I movie too well and I can't bring myself to switch over. Cause usually it only takes me about an hour to edit my videos just because I've got my system down. Of course, live streaming is kind of amazing because I don't even have to think about editing. Granted, that also means everything that comes out of my mouth is recorded and Anytime I say something ridiculous, I can't edit it out. Whew, I am having a hard time breathing today. Hold on, let me catch my breath. <coughs> no, but thank you. It's just, I can't catch my breath for whatever reason. Okay, did everybody take a shot? <laughs> uh, if this keeps up, I may have to switch to something stronger than tea. I can understand that, Grace. Part of me was like, okay, I'm about to do this live stream. I'm having trouble catching my breath. We'll see how talkative I actually am. Do 
you know how I can get sound back on my HGTV via HDMI. I just tried a system restore. No luck. Ooh. I'm not exactly sure without actually being in front of the system. That sounds like a mess, though. I'm so sorry. Katrina, hi, welcome. You colored. Oh, well, that's exciting, Grace. I have colored maybe four pages in the month of June. <laughs> if you can count some of them pages, I mean, because they're little tiny dinosaurs or dinosaurs, dragons. Oh, my goodness. Um. Well, thank you, Shay. I'm I'm learning to like it. I'll just put it that way. I'm learning to like it. Um, oh, I want to do that guy in silver. Uh, I am very grateful for the fact that my streaming setup is in my basement. So it's naturally really, really cool down here. I mean, it's not going to be fun in the middle of winter where I'm going to be wearing a parka to do my live streams. But that's beside the point. 26 minutes long. Holy cow, Grace. I'd probably watch all of it. I probably will watch all of it. What am I talking about? Yeah, I'm still trying to find my, uh, my balance between coloring and reading. Since I want to have something to talk about for both of them. Still don't know what that looks like, but I think I'm doing relatively okay. I mean, I would like to do more coloring, but I kind of got sidetracked with my parkour review. So I'm hoping now that I've done all of the product testing that I wanted to do, that I can go crazy. But I also keep telling myself that because of the way I like to shade and everything, I don't really expect myself to get a whole lot of pages done in a month. And that's okay, because we all color at our own pace. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've, I've been having fun with this page. I've had some moments where I've questioned my choices, but overall, I think it's turning out pretty well. Some bands on it says sound is MS-306 and says no issues. Ugh, that, yep, no. I wish I could be more help. I agree, Grace. I just like to see what colors people put together and how they envision a page. It's kind of why I stalk all of you guys. You're, you guys are my inspiration. That and you guys find some interesting coloring books that I never would find on my own. And I am bound and determined to finish this page today. Gosh, dang it. This silver marker is dangerous. There we go. Yeah, that might just be easiest to do a clean install. That's always my default. 
I know I've grown up around technology and computers, but sometimes, sometimes dealing with them, the first thing I do is, fine, if you don't want to do what I say, well, we're just going to start from scratch. You're welcome. Hi, Shaleen. Oh, goodness gracious. Kind of like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure why my allergies are acting up with the amount of rain that has been happening the last couple days. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, we're all down here, baby girl. Uh-huh. Are you going to stay down here this time? Did she literally come halfway down the stairs and then turn around and go back? Yeah, she is. She paused. Come here, You're so weird, girly. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I need to change which allergy meds I am using currently. It's gotten to the point where I think the effectiveness is gone. Hi, Elizabeth. Yeah, I need to look at the pollen reports. Maybe that'll explain why I am sniffling. I'm trying not to do it right in your guys' ear because you guys are right next to us. No, okay, so Kimberly, all of us are downstairs in the basement, and of course, the cats are free range. And Nissa is just running up and down the stairs crying for attention right now. She knows exactly where we're at, and if she would just sit on one of our laps, she'd be perfectly fine. But for whatever reason, oh, she found Fia. There's now going to be a fight for window space. Okay, I think it was here. So yes, the cats are our form of entertainment. <laughs> Bye, Shay. I'm glad you could join. So what have I read this week? Do I even remember... Oh, goodness. I've just lost track of my whole week altogether. My brain reset. I'm, I'm a blank slate right now. It's kind of glorious, I won't lie. I have started reading The Natural History of Dragons, which I highly recommend at this point, even though I'm only halfway through the book. It is amazing, and I love it. But I also love dragons so that is a thing um it's part of the memoirs of lady trent which is a five book series the covers are gorgeous which is <clears throat> part of the reason i may have bought the whole series without having read any of them don't judge me things happen but i am really enjoying the book so far I'm also trying to read Child of the Prophecy, which is the third book in the Seven Waters series. It's a reread for me, and I'm just not feeling motivated to read it at all. So I've been on page seven for the past week. But I really, really need to get it read. I was supposed to have it finished in June. That obviously didn't happen seeing as it is July 
which for all of you guys in the States, do you have any 4th of July plans? I mean, I, I enjoy 4th of July for the food. Not so excited fireworks, but fireworks just get really, really crazy. And I always have this slight paranoia that my lawn and my house are going to catch fire. Just because of how ridiculous some people are with the fireworks. Ooh, a 37 mile bike race. Is this like bicycle or motorcycle? Because bicycle 37 miles, holy fudge. Bicycle, that is impressive. Yeah, I'd be dead. <laughs> so I, more power to your husband. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, I am so sorry, Shalene. Yeah, I've been hearing how hot it is for a lot of you guys. And it makes me very much thankful for my extremely freezing basement, even though sometimes I wish it wasn't that cold down here. My basement is just weirdly naturally cool. Yeah, my, my husband loves it to death. Me, I'm always down here underneath a blanket. Luckily, I don't need it right now when I'm live streaming because I have all of the lights pointed at me right now and they kick off a lot of heat. They start the fireworks yesterday. Well, okay, so technically around here, we're only allowed to shoot off the fireworks, the fireworks, <laughs> okay. Let me start that over. They're only allowed to shoot off fireworks starting the third and going to the fourth. Anytime around that, it's illegal to set off fireworks. Of course, that does not stop people. So in the middle of the night, you will hear like huge bangs out of nowhere that are terrifying because you don't know if it's like an actual explosion or if someone is just kicking off a firework somewhere or a firecracker. But yeah, no, come the third and the fourth, it is going to be ridiculous in all these neighborhoods. And of course, it leaves all this shrapnel, as I like to call it, everywhere, all over the streets, in the yards, and it's... I can't tell you how many things I have picked up out of my own yard because of the 4th of July. Right, no, and I understand. I mean, I, I know the cops can't regulate all of the things that are going off just because it's it's everywhere. And at this point, they they relax a little bit because there are so many people who are just shooting all that stuff off. And I definitely don't blame them. And I... I'm one of those people where, yeah, I'll sit here and complain about it, but will I report it? No, because A, I don't like to start things that might come back and bite me. <laughs> I try to make sure my neighbors don't dislike me. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, they there's just, there's no way they're going to be able to do anything. Hi, May. Yeah, and I know a lot of people who have, like, animals or even just PTSD that the 4th of July is just not a good time of year for them. But like I said, I love 4th of July for the food. Oh, my goodness. All of the food. It's because you get those the picnic-y foods, and picnic -y foods are my favorite kinds of foods. I love all of the cool salads. So the pasta salads and the jello salads and everything else. Oh, okay. That is a very good question, Elizabeth. But surprisingly, it happens. <laughs> 
So I, I'm one of those people where I know it would be a good thing to get out and get to know my neighbors and be all friendly and whatnot. But most of the time I decide to be a hermit because yes, I'm just a hermit. I let my husband doing do all the bonding with the neighbors. You're welcome, Jeffrey. It's what I'm here for. <laughs> he he's the social half of our relationship. Yep. And we yep, we, we bribe kids with Halloween candy so that we don't get terrorized because we will get terrorized. It mostly works. So we have an interesting set of children in our neighborhood. Oh, yeah, and Rice Krispie Treats, too. I do like me some good Rice Krispie Treats. I'm, I'm glad you remembered that you need to make Rice Krispie Treats, Melissa. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting with 4th of July being on a Wednesday this year. And of course, one of my friends is coming back from Africa that day as well. So it would be interesting to see if she can see the fireworks from the airplane. Oh, yeah. Here, it is illegal to sell fireworks until a certain time of the year. And then all of a sudden, we get firework pops up everywhere. But oh, do you remember which state it is that just you can buy fireworks all year round? Missouri. Missouri? Oh, yeah. So people just drive down quickly to Missouri because, I mean, it's not too terribly far from here. And they stock up on the huge ones because they don't have regulations down in Missouri. We have regulations here of, well, about the size and the quantity and all of that kind of stuff and the impact of the fireworks. But if you want the big stuff, you can go down to Missouri and it's crazy. Luckily, none of my animals really have a fear of loud noises. So they're pretty chill on the 4th of July. The cats honestly could care less. And the guinea pigs. I Nothing phases them if it's not in their general vicinity. So I haven't decided what this hole right here is and how I want to color it. Okay, I lost track of where it was. And I didn't color the black part of that. Oh, girly. What? No. <laughs> what did you do to my iPad? Thank you. I appreciate it. I didn't I didn't need the help though. Thea decided that she wanted to be my technology manager. And she hit something on my iPad and things went a little weird. Hi Alyssa. 
Granted, I didn't know my iPad could do that. But now I know. That's his... <laughs> that's his tongue. Uh, I don't think so. I'm wondering if it's just like a hole in the back of the skull. I don't know. It confuses me. I don't know if I can. There we go. Well, see, and that's what I was thinking. Maybe Alyssa. Maybe it's it's the hole for the spine. I might just color it black. I don't know, or, you know, like the back of the throat where you would swallow things if it had flesh. <laughs> I don't know enough about detailed anatomy to even guess. It was not a class I took in school. Yeah, there's a card there. But I don't really think that needs colored, so... It's just going to hang out. I don't know if you can even see that on screen. I pointed to something off screen. Yeah, the card right there. I'm just going to leave that. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think I'm going to color a background. A, because coloring backgrounds make me feel really, really nervous. But I just, I kind of like the look of it without a background. I know backgrounds are something that I really need to work on and get more comfortable in. But I think for now, I'll probably just leave the background white. I'm kind of feeling it. So I'm thinking maybe just coloring that straight black. Granted, I might lose the butterfly if I do that. Or I could just leave it white and it can hang out and be awkward. Or maybe silver. And it'll be like it's glowing behind the butterfly. There's just so many options. Yeah. She's opaque. She's definitely not graceful. That might be it. That would make sense. Yeah, that's always my fear about doing a background is that I really like the piece and how it's turned out. But then if I don't like the background, I've kind of ruined it a little bit and it makes me sad. Which is part of the reason why I always take pictures at various stages. Just so I have a reminder of what it used to look like. That just sounds sad. But yeah, no, I, I like capturing the various stages of my artwork. Which is why I have, or what I try to use Insta Stories for. Because yeah, I probably, let's be honest, I won't be keeping these pictures forever. At some point, they're going to fade. You 
you finally learned how to use the wink of Stella. Yeah, I'm I have I have four of those that at some point I want to try out. I don't know on what, but <laughs> See, that's exactly it, Alyssa. It's like, okay, so the background didn't turn out. Um uh this is the final piece. Nobody judge me for not having background. We're going to pretend like the background thing just never happened. Well, I'm excited to see your slideshow, Grace. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, no, see, and that, that was part of the thing that was going through my head is like, well, I don't know if I want to color it dark because then I'd probably lose the detail of the butterfly. I mean, I am going to go back and then do like I did for these ones and outline them with a Posca so that I can get these butterflies back. And so I'll probably do the same with these ones down here, but... I feel like I'm making this picture too dark. Struggling a bit, guys. I'm struggling. Holy cow, we've already been here an hour, and I am nowhere dear, near done with all these butterflies. Gosh, dang it. Okay. Well, maybe there'll be one more stream with this page. I know this isn't very exciting. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm subscribed to you, Alyssa. I will have to do that after I'm done streaming. Well, I suppose it's okay if I, you know. Well, good. Because I didn't know how, how exciting it would be just to be coloring with the same two colors repeatedly. <laughs> But it, it, this is one of those pictures I want to do all on stream, though. So maybe I won't get it done today, but... It's one of those things that you don't realize how much work goes into all the fine details until you're, like, right smack in the middle of it. And you realize how fiddly it is. That's true. It is a color in chat. So half of it is about talking with you guys because you guys are amazing and I heart all of your faces. And you know, 
sometimes it's nice to see the same thing over and over again because it kind of gets instilled in your brain, I guess. It's one way we can look at it. Not, <laughs> not that I'm necessarily a tutorial channel. Well, I'm glad you could come and join Grace. I look forward to seeing your slideshow. Okay, good. As long as you guys aren't bored, I will continue doing what I am doing. I'm very good at putzing around. Are we back? Are we back? Alyssa broke the internet with her wonderful donation. Ah, Alyssa, you are my favorite of the day. I feel like every time I get one of these, I should like to do a little dance. But you guys just see my hands. So you'll just see my hands dancing. <laughs> Break it down now. I can't beatbox. You guys don't want to hear that. That's just, it's, it's not going to end well. So I'll stop now. But thank you, Alyssa, seriously. <laughs> you broke the internet because you are actually my first ever as well. Day officially made. I feel like this moment should forever be remembered. Oh my goodness, I keep finding my hair everywhere. I'm probably going bald. That's great. Oh, I like it, Alyssa. Like I said, you are my favorite person ever. <laughs> Donate tea. Yeah, I kind of like it. If it's not a word, it should be. Let's see. Probably should do this butterfly here before I forget about it. Hi, Tara. Granted, you know, thinking about the word donate tea. <laughs> My friend, she does a mentor program. So I hear the word mentee of manatee. So every time I am talking to her about uh, her little girl that she's mentoring, I'm like, how, how is your manatee doing? Just because that's the kind of person I am. And so, you know, donate tea kind of rem reminds me of that. I think it's the tea at the end. Manatee, mentee, donate tea. Granted, I, I never say no to any tea. Tea is delicious. We found this great little place downtown Friday night called the Gray Whale. And they do hope bowls and bubble tea. It was amazing. And we are definitely going back there because I loved it. That was a weird tangent that I just kind of went off in that direction.
Losing focus. Bring it back, April. Oh, my favorite, co favorite coloring tools. I am a Copic girl. I love my Copics to death. And if I could use them all the time, I would. But for fiddly bits like this, it's just not realistic. And the paper would just bleed out the color. I mean, I used Copics on the skull along with my polys. But Copics are always the first thing I think about when I'm coloring. Will this page handle Copics? If it can't, my next choice is always these pit pens. I love these pit pens. Mainly because of the India ink, there's a lot less water in them, and so they don't bleed through as easily. And so they're nice to use. See, like, I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about. So here, you can see the ghosting of the Tombos, but you can't necessarily see the ghosting of the pits because they don't quite have the same alcohol, con or not alcohol content, they're not alcohol markers. Come back, April, come back. Because they don't have the same water content. They got a higher amount of pigment which is nice and why I love them. And then of course, after that, I like to go for Tombos. Tombos are my next favorite. Yeah, pits are a bit of a learning curve. I mean, there's several different ways you can use them. Here, I'm just straight coloring because this is how I like to use them best. Um. And they do take some manipulation to make them, them work this way. You have to make sure that you're always using them while they're wet. Because as soon as they dry, they're permanent. They will not move, no matter how much water you add to the page. Um, or you can uh, do like you do with your other water-based markers. is You can like scribble them on a piece of plastic and paint with them, kind of. which is fun to do sometimes too. But they're, they're an, the opacity is really, really low on these so that you can do layers. And so if you want to straight color with these, you will get streaks unless you're willing to go over the same area. Yeah, and I'm I'm just starting to get into colored pencils. Oops. Kicked my bag. Sorry about that. Um, I'm starting to get into colored pencils. I've only have um about 70 of the polychromos and then the irogens. I want to see if I can get the irogens and the polys to work together. That's gonna be my next project. See here, like, yeah, you kind of lose the antennae right into the eye sockets. Ooh, the chat has gotten away from me. Oop, like I said, I just, my hair is just, Ah, I need to get it cut. It's too long. It's driving me nuts. And I'm finding it everywhere. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, the irogens are 
I don't have them sitting next to me. They're the Tombow colored pencils. They're the ones that come in the cutest little packaging. I think I have it somewhere. Hold on. Whoop! I just bumped my camera, didn't I? I apologize. Yeah, they come in these cute little book packagings. Yeah, Irigens. Ooh. But yeah, they come in these these little book things. Uh, there you go. I just upside down, but you get what I mean. And then you just open them up. And then they have different colors. And they have some really pretty pastel colors. And they're a harder colored pencil, for sure. But I, it was the packaging on these that sold me. <laughs> they, they sell them in like book bind ups. And me being the book person that I am, I had to get them. <laughs> I am a graphic designer by training, so pretty packaging gets me every single time. Every time, which is why I probably own half. Are we, are we, are we good? Are we here yet? Are we here yet? Wait, wait for the internet to decide that it likes life again. <coughs> okay, we're back. Thank you, internet. Yeah, the Irigens, they're a hard colored pencil. So it takes a, lit more, a little more doing to get like a solid color on there. Okay. Thank you for joining, Alyssa. I'm glad you could make the stream. I'm probably only going to be here for, for uh, probably just until like 1230 or so. But yeah. So glad you could make it. You've officially made my day. Okay. I was coloring him, wasn't I? I got sidetracked. I love the internet. I love the internet. Family is supposed to be coming down to my place this afternoon. I'm not sure when that's going to be happening. Did they? Did they ask what time we were available? Is that what? Yeah, Any time after one. It's usually what I tell them. Because I like hanging out with you guys. Try coloring hair with my Prismacolor. Ooh, that's exciting, Elizabeth. That's a that's a huge step. Someday, someday, I I I really, 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 really want to get into my pop manga coloring book, especially since I've pre-ordered the mermaid one. So I'm trying my darndest to learn from people like Melissa and from Sammy and from May and from Dee Dee on good color combinations for colored pencils and just generally how to work with them because I know nothing. And so I've been practicing in my succulent dragons with the little tiny dragons because I feel like since it's such a, a small piece that it won't overwhelm me. But I do at some point want to switch over to the pop manga and then attempt to color in one of the girls in there. But I'm nervous as all get out. Because I do love that coloring book so much. But yeah, no, it, it, it amazes me the work and how realistic people can get with colored pencils. Because I, I love to see how people layer and all that kind of stuff, just because that's the way I like to color. So, trying to figure it out. Slowly but surely. I mean, I... I 
and it took me a little while to figure out markers, so I figure the learning curve for colored pencils is going to be about the same, because I started coloring with markers, I just, it was flat coloring for me, that was what, ooh, did I start coloring color books about two years ago, is when I, I really got into coloring books, and of course, at that point, all I really had was markers, and that was the kind of color payoff I really liked, was that bold colors. And then one day I'm like, I wonder what would happen if I tried to use two different colors on the same section, if I could get like a variant. And so I started playing around with that, and I got really excited, and haven't looked back since. But at this point, it's like, well, I haven't really learned colored pencils. Am I putting a shadow under the skull or just thinking the hole could be in a shadow? This is the internet that never works. It goes down and... Oh my gosh. The internet hated my song that I was singing while the internet was down, and so it went down again. <laughs> oh my golly, jeez. Why? Uh, I am so sorry, Shaleen. That is everything on my end. I have no idea what is going on with my internet right now. Uh, so yeah, we probably won't be on here for very much longer. Just because, I mean, and, and it's, it's, it's not even consistent when this happens. But thank you, thank you for putting up with it as much as you did, Shalene. I feel really, really bad. I'm so sorry, guys. Like I said, it's one of those days. <sighs> might, might be having a talk with my internet people. Because seriously, not cool, guys. Well, like I said, I mean, there's some Sundays where my my internet is just perfectly fine. And I don't get disconnection issues. What did you just do, Kat? Did she just jump on the boxes? Probably. That's probably what happened. Um, but then there's some Sundays that, I don't know, the internet kicks me off every 20 minutes. I try to turn off all of my other internet connected devices. Thank you for joining me. I might catch some of... And that's part of the reason I also want to let all of you guys catch and stream as well. Because Anne is amazing. Yeah, no, she she is she was a great find for me because I a lot of the other color tubists that I found on here, they weren't quite used. Then I found Anne, and Anne was all about the markers. So, yes. I was excited about that. On Anne's channel at some point, because I know I sent her information about these. I really don't have, I have them, so they're a thing. That was the worst in... Me now. The question why I am doing this... It's not, it's not even, are you, are you, are you, internet, 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 are you there, internet, internet? Okay, we're back. So, um, with the way the internet is going right now, I'm probably just going to end the stream here because this is frustrating the heck out of me. <sighs> 
I really was hoping go, to go for another 10 minutes or so, but with my luck, it's just going to like poop out on me. And you guys have been missing some epic singings. <sighs> yeah, you wanna come up here, girly? Ah, come back, internet. I didn't say goodbye. I didn't do my sign off. Give me, give me, give me, give me my internet back. Are you back, internet? I love you, internet. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully this will work for the next like minute when I say goodbye to you guys because I want to say goodbye to you guys. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with my ridiculous internet and I really enjoyed talking with you guys. I am liking how this page is slowly coming together. I guess there might be one or two more streams in which I color this page. Not necessarily get it finished in this page, but thank you so much. You guys are all so amazing and I heart each and every one of your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful faces and I hope to see you in my stream again, in which the internet works 10 times better than it does now. Please and thank you. Thank you guys for joining. Bye.